Hey everybody and brightest blessings. Lady Leanna back with you for a new edition of Wicca for Today. And it is truly great to be back here with you once again talking about the subject that I hold so near and dear to my heart as I do spirituality. Before I had gone off dealing with my own brand of whatever, I had been talking to you about the tools that rest upon your altar and which position they would assume upon that altar. I had covered the atomy which generally rests within the south, however is interchangeable with the wand in some cultures which rests by all that I've ever seen within the east. Also you would find upon the tarot cards that your wand is resting within the south and as a place of fire and your athame is resting within the east in representation of air okay and you rarely if at all see that today i have never seen anyone use the athame within the east position or the one within the south position although the Temple of the Golden Dawn people of long ago and I'm sure today did and so it's quite interchangeable although like I said I've never seen anyone use the reverse okay so your athame within the south your east wand I've covered those and I've covered your chalice which rests within the west now the one tool, the one primary tool that I haven't covered that rests upon your altar is the one that rests within the north. And that's what I hope to cover with you today. That would be by all things that I've ever seen, your altar tile. Although it is highly interchangeable with whatever else you would like it to interchange with. People will use a tray with their symbol inscribed on it as a ingredient tray there in the north or a cutting board with their symbol on it within the north so that they can prepare their ingredients but I've always seen an altar tile. The main important thing here would be the symbol that is up on it that which is embedded upon it. It is your symbol of protection it is your mothering or fathering symbol it is your symbol of power okay that is most what is important on your tool that rests within the north so you can use any tool you want but use your symbol on it okay now I don't advise that you use another tool that is parallel with the tool you already have in your other primary positions because you want to respect each position you want to respect the north, south, east, and west and honor them through the tool that belongs with them. But the mothering or fathering position, well, it's the infinite, the all. It is that which you want it to be. Okay, now if you're outside, I've seen people use the oak tree sitting in the north side or the weeping willow tree sitting in the north side. I've even seen on the inside of their altar where they'll take off their talisman and just place it before themselves on the altar or just bear note that they're sitting in the north if they happen to be. And at that point if they have another half that's uh, the masculine strength, whether male or female, would sit on the south side and bear the athame. Okay? Now, it can be change there's there's nothing that says you have to do anything or that anything has to be any particular way unless you're following a set path that is hardcore to whatever your group or your foremothers and fathers have said that it has to be but I am highly eclectic I've seen a lot of other people that are not so highly eclectic use these tools in these positions that I have expressed to you. You know, this is the way I've seen it done in all books that I have read. And this is the way I've seen it done 
by all older generations that I have learned from in the past. But, uh, you know, do as you will. Just make sure you feel very strong and powerful about it. Remember, the tool, the real tool of the North is your symbol. Okay? Now, I use a square uh, altar tray. Why square? Because square represents the earth. If you're talking about shapes. I use brown because the color brown or the color green is representation of your north position or the earth. Okay? So those knowledges and wisdoms are highly important also. Represent the earth, earth and the north with the color green or brown. Now I use a little stone in the center of my altar plaque because I want it to hold its power better and I know that wood will. But I feel much, much more stronger with a stone or a crystal. And I use the tiger's eye stone because that happens to be my favorite and most powerful stone to use. Okay? I hope that this has been of a great help to you and that you've enjoyed this show. It is my first back after three months. This is my first show after three months. And I am more than proud to be doing that for you. And I am looking forward to many, many more in the future. All right? So stay tuned for my next shows. And I really hope that you've gotten out of this and all the other shows as you possibly can. Brought us blessings and merry part. Bye-bye.